spring in the Keys means Poincianas and Taupin. We plan to hunt this great fish with rod, reel, and camera in the shallow waters surrounded by Bent and Mangrove Islands in the Florida Keys. All big Taupin are big because they're old and therefore experienced and wise. They are difficult to hook because of bony jaws, harder to hold because of smashing junks. Small, speedy boats take us to where the fish may be rolling on the surface or feeding on the bottom. On approach, the motor which alarms the fish is cut and the guide starts pulling. Fish are rolling in the deeper water, but we are looking for feeding tarpon in the shoal water. A large one is spotted moving along the bottom. The plug is cast ahead of him. He is tempted more by curiosity than hunger, probably. He strikes like lightning and jumps directly for the boat, but misses and is away on his run. If you succeed in hanging on to him, respect for his rushing acrobatic fight for life increases with every jump. Two terrifically high jumps proclaim the top and strength, but pressure of the drag equals it. The thrill is great because your muscles crave to master, yet your mind cheers silver sides on. In the end, when exhausted, he is brought to the boat. Pride in your achievement turns to admiration of the greatest jumper of all the fishes. He is released as quickly and gently as possible. The fish slowly swims away. A large whip ray swims ahead of us as we get a plug into action again. The strike is unexpected, but the angler responds, trying to recover slack line. and so maintain control as the camera records the fight for life.
Look out, a hammerhead shark passes under our fish. The tarpon, when released, seems to be strong enough to take care of himself. A ground shark annoys us. Note the shark sucker, or remora, hanging on to his side. It's women who usually hang the largest fish. My wife fails to attract the tarpon she's angling for, but there's another in the offing. A fin tears along the surface after it, and a fish strikes. A huge fish leaps. Our eyes pop. Could be old man Silversides himself. He's still on. Can she hold him? What if she conquers him? Should he be kept for a possible record? Quite a temptation. The great fish is about beaten. His jumps are weaker. She has him. A great white shark appears from nowhere. Old Silversides spots him. Leaps desperately, shakes out the plug, and is gone toward milky water and safety. We leave for Isla Morada, working our way among the mangrove keys to our destination just before sundown. Our quest is over. With mixed emotions, we have matched skill and strength with the great tarpon. We are not likely to forget old Silversides, the tarpon who got away.